Less than a week ago, the city of Burlington released the long-awaited police assessment, which it paid a Virginia-based consulting firm $100,000 for. Now, one of the two city groups which called for that report called for a special meeting. Local 22's Mike Coey joins us now live from the newsroom tonight with a look at what the Burlington Police Commission is doing. Mike? Well, Lauren, if the Queen City ends up following one of the recommendations in that lengthy document, the Burlington Police Commission would be granted more power. All complaints against Burlington Police Department employees must be reported to the Police Commission. That reporting must take place in executive session, closed to the public. Wednesday night, Police Commission Vice Chair Shireen Hart noted Vermont public bodies can also go into executive session to have privileged confidential discussions with an attorney. There's a matter that we need to discuss in executive session that we are not in a position, it would, it would jeopardize us or other individuals if we were to have this discussion in open forum at this point. Good, I'm on the same page, thank you. There's no way to know just what that attorney-client conversation was about since the police commission did not return to open forum after it ended. However, the special meeting came less than a week after CNA's report showed that the group lacks not only the authority to act on complaints, but also any specific delineation of the powers it does have. The consultants wrote, quote, ultimate authority to accept or reject the police commission's recommendations lies with the chief of BPD. This point was mentioned during interviews and was expressed as a limiting factor to the commission's oversight role. Accordingly, one of CNA's recommendations reads, quote, the city of Burlington should formalize the authority of the police commission, which should be greater than an advisory role and clearly outline the reach of their responsibilities. Lauren, the consultants also found Burlington's police oversight structure to be lacking in community representation throughout the process, a conclusion that Acting Chief John Murad has disagreed with in writing. Live in the newsroom tonight, Mike Coey, Local 22 News. Mike, an update to a story we told you about last night. Authorities say they have the man wanted for armed robbery at the South.